All right, what's up all my proscribers? That's what I'm gonna call it now, because sub is below. And we are not from a below, we are from above. And so now, I have proscribers. Um, I, wanna, I wanna share with you guys something that I do all the time, uh, randomly, it just happens. So I like to take common sayings, uh, for example, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And I like to take that and internalize it and apply it to my unique perspective. Uh, so take that saying and apply it to the individual rather than the whole world. Uh, and it actually fits perfectly. Um, and that's what exactly what I came to do here. Uh, <clears throat> So we're just going to look at how that saying holds true for the individual as well as the world. For the esoteric, just as much as the exoteric. Um, it's magical. So, obviously, this is going to tie into the furnace of affliction. And to put it directly, when you don't learn from the things that you've been through and you continue to make the same mistakes you remain in the furnace of affliction uh, I believe that the goal is stated numerous times throughout these holy texts be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect um, damn it I hate winter time so much whatever um, anyway so we take our bad behaviors that we used to have because I'm just going to hope that you've broken those habits. Um, we take those bad behaviors and as long as we continue to do them, we remain somewhat stuck in a rut. As long as you're the same person, you live the same life, you have the same things happen to you. Um, and when you change your behaviors and you change your thought patterns, which thought pattern is leads to the behavior, um, then life changes. I used to be really, really a bad person. I'm still a bad person, but I used to be a really, really bad person. Um, I know a lot of people have been a lot worse than me. I never like wanted to hurt people or anything like that. I was pretty selfish, um, but I'm not going to try to justify any of the shit I've done. Um, but if I would, if I would have continued that thinking and those behaviors, then I would still be in the exact same situation. I'd still be in the same furnace with the same impurities, trying to be burned off, but never being able to be burned off. Um, it's amazing how those two actually fit together. Learn learn from from the things that happen to you and you know you'll you'll move around in the furnace and hopefully eventually you come out. Um I kind of wanted to get into the exoteric um the world uh, the way that people are, the way that things seem to repeat over and over and over again. Because human nature doesn't change. It's always the same. People are always the same. They always do the same shit, generation after generation. Yet, the Lord God himself reaches out to us generation after generation. It's just, most generations don't answer. But not us. We are a blessed generation what what's it say um that's how it's been a while since i've cracked open my bible if you can't tell um if you go to my first videos they're they're like heavily religious text and then i've just descended off of that it's i want to still make those same videos um and even even further into those same topics it just hasn't worked out but we'll get there I, I guarantee you I'll get there. There's not a doubt in my mind. At some point, um, you know what? 
let's not even bother. At some point, though, we'll, we're going to get back into those religious texts and understanding these biblical um, concepts that, that transcend the Bible. They transcend all of these holy texts. They're all the same thing. The Bible is just the one that we have in this age. It, it's a compilation of all them same stories that, that used to be strictly oral. And then they began the writing them down. Um, but it's just the best compilation. Sorry. Um, Alright, anyway, back on point here. Um, so exoterically... Uh, before great catastrophes, you could say, there's always uh, a crazy uptick in liberal ideology. Uh, it's usually not authentic liberal ideology. It's people masquerading as liberal. Um, just because of the nature of liberal ideology, it's easy to grift off of. Um, but there's always an uptick and then everybody starts getting labeled. Once everybody is labeling everybody and throwing everyone into any category they can fit them in to disrespect them and then act as if they're superior, you know shit's about to go down. That's just how it works for some reason. It's just part of human nature. Uh, so before World War II, everybody was fascist. According to these liberal ideologues, um, if... If your dog started barking at 2 or 3 a.m., it's because you were a fascist. Um, all, all of Hollywood was fascist. Actors, comedians, artists, they were all fascists. Scientists, um, professors, fucking NASA. All fascists. Everybody was a fascist. It's just, it's the same thing that's happening now. Because nobody learned. The people that learned those lessons... We're just erased, eradicated by the Tuskegee Two Point. Um, it's it's really sad. Uh, pretty sure everybody that was in hospice. I don't know. I uploaded the um, the video of the Vayers reports, and you are more than welcome to go look at those. But th they're a little heart wrenching, you could say, um, to say the least, actually. So internally, when we continue to have the same mindset, have the corrupt mindset, have the same behaviors, bad behaviors, um, we remain in the furnace where those impurities are trying to be burned off. It, it's, it has to do with the inversion of the mind. What people perceive as pain and suffering bad is actually pain and suffering as a heads up you're not supposed to be this way you should change it get out of the furnace change that it's transmute transmute that bad thinking and bad behavior into good behavior and good thinking and then you will get out of the furnace um, but I think to some degree there's probably always a furnace uh, it, it's hard to be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect Um, but my point here is when you make mistakes, when things happen to you that are bad, that's not just some random occurrence. Nothing is. It never is. Everything that happens out here is an effect. And the cause of your pain and suffering out here comes from the plane in here. It's something that you hold in your heart that is causing that to happen or some some pattern of thought that is causing that to happen um, God is not the sender of confusion or fear so if you're confused or afraid of something shake that shit off throw it to the side that ain't that ain't supposed to be there and as long as that is there the same things will happen to you as a result uh, I can't say what that result would be but it certainly wouldn't be good. Um, 
like I said, you have to operate from the, 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 the basics that God wants everyone to succeed. As God told Cain, if you did well, wouldn't you fit in? Wouldn't, wouldn't you be okay out there? But no, you have these, these terrible thought patterns and you want to do bad shit, so you will continue to suffer um, in the furnace of affliction. Affliction. Uh, so if, if you're afflicted, if you're having some problem, it's because of something internal. When the internal is in line, when thine eye is made single, you're not afflicted. So, before I get out of here, I hope I hope that was that made sense to you guys. Um, it was just a random, random thing I've been thinking about for a while, and I just figured I'd share it. Um, before I go, uh, because I said the words exoteric and esoteric, exoteric as in exoskeleton, on the outside. Um, that's really interesting. And esoteric, meaning on the inside. Um, I, and we'll throw in the word occult for good measure. None of those, none of those words mean anything bad. Believe it or not. Um, and I just, I know that I've, I've seen many times people read or hear or see the word occult and they start thinking somebody's a devil worshiper. Um, and that's, that's serious. Like, people really, a lot, a lot of people, worldly men, do believe that. The word occult itself is evil. So, I just want to read this to you guys. But before I do, um, as far as esoteric being inside and exoteric being outside, Jesus himself said, um, firstly, he said to those who are without exo, all these, all this Bible is mystery and parables, but to those who are within esoteric, um, everything is clear, clear as day. And he said, they said, Lord Jesus, uh, your mother and your brother are here to see you. And he said, who? Anybody who is outside exoteric is not my mother and brother, but he who is inside, esoteric, is my brother. So there's that. So this is uh, Colossians 3, 1 through 11. This is about the term occult, occult, uh, and hidden, occult is not some word. You shouldn't be afraid of any word. It's just a word. <clears throat> but this is, this is so special. Uh, so we'll start at three. Therefore, if you were raised with Christ, look for the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at God's right side. Right side. God is within, right? We know that. The kingdom of heaven comes not by sight, but is in your midst. Where does God live? Heaven. The keys to knowledge you've taken away because you don't enter within yourself. You also prevent everybody else from entering into their selves. Jesus told the Pharisee, um, inside is where the keys to knowledge are. Inside is where heaven is. Inside is where God is. So inside, on the right side. <coughs> Uh, raised with Christ, look for the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Think about the things above and not the things on earth. I need to practice that. You died. I'm dead. You're talking to a dead man. You're listening to a dead man. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, Amen. Is revealed. Is revealed. What has to happen to something before it can be revealed? It has to be hidden. You can't reveal something that is hidden. I mean, that isn't 
hidden. Um, this Just this one little bit right here is something that I'm going to think about for a long time. Probably come back and talk about it. Um, when Christ, who is your life, is revealed, meaning he was hidden, right? We agree there? That's, that's pretty simple. Um, when Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Now, let's pause. So, when Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed. So, just as we said a second ago, in, in, in order for Christ to be revealed, what must he be first? Hidden. Then you also will be revealed. If you are going to be revealed, what must you be first? That's right. Hidden. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. I could probably talk for three or four hours just on these two verses. You died and your life is hidden with Christ and God inside. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Damn. Anyway. So put to death the parts of your life that belong to the earth. Such as... Wait. So put to death the parts of your life that belong to the earth. How do we do that? How do we put to death the parts of our life that belong to the earth? How do we do that? We learn from history so we aren't doomed to repeat it. Such as sexual immorality, moral corruption, lust, evil desire and greed, which is idolatry, crazy. The wrath, wrath of God is coming upon disobedient people because of these things. That doesn't mean when they die that they're going to go to to some fire land, some physical, some other physical plane that isn't here with the body they just left. We can agree on that, right? When you die, you are no longer in your body. So how then can your body end up in this fireplace, this physical realm of physical fire? Doesn't make sense. That's what the worldly man believes. The wrath of God is coming upon disobedient, disobedient people because of these things. Sexual immorality, moral corruption, lust, evil desire, and greed, and idolatry. Uh, that doesn't mean later. That does not mean later. That means they, they are doing these things now. And because they are doing these things and not learning from history, their own history, they are doomed to repeat it and they are facing the wrath. Look around. Now, disobedient people because of these things. You used to live this way. Uh, and this, I just mentioned this in my video. It blows my mind that I used to actually be one of these worldly men. It's It just blows my mind. What I know now, looking back on then, is just, it's embarrassing in a way. Um, and I don't, I know that where I'm at now isn't the final stage. I know I'll continue to grow. And at some point down the road, I'll look back at this moment and probably feel the same way. Um, I will grow and grow spiritually, not physically, um, forever, essentially. My life is hidden in Christ. So I will live forever and I will grow forever. Um, anyway, sorry wrath of God, disobedient people. You used to live this way when you were alive to these things. But now, set aside these things, such as anger, 
rage, malice, slander, and obscene language. I, I, oh man, I had that one time. I stopped cussing and everything. Don't lie to each other. This is important. Take off the old human nature with its practices. Learn from the past and put on the new nature, which is renewed in knowledge by conforming to the image of the one who created it. Put on the new nature. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to process this statement because it's powerful. Put on the new nature, which is renewed in knowledge by conforming to the image. Okay, so this is the one who made the new nature, the, the above nature. Um, the above nature is renewed in knowledge, and that knowledge is gained by conforming to the image of the one who created the new nature. Basically, go and sin no more. Um, and this, this kind of um, validates something that I, I try, to, try to tell people all the time. Corrupt, immoral people cannot comprehend truth. They can't do it. Oh, that's, that's cool. Um, in this image of this higher nature, knowledge, um, there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all things and in all people. <sighs> so much to say. So much to say. What a what a beautiful little chapter. Take off the old human nature with its practices. Put on the new nature which is renewed in knowledge. How is the knowledge gained? By conforming to the image of God. Of Jesus. That's, that's so beautiful. In this image, I got to get back into my Bible, man. I got to. This shit's too, I'm sorry. This stuff is too beautiful to not get into, you know? It really is. All right, but you, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to share some of that stuff with you. Have this little brainstorming session. Uh, I hope somebody learned something from this. I hope this was helpful. Um, just trying to spread some knowledge. Um, that's it, guys. Peace out. Love you all.